Greetings in the name of Jesus. This is Brother Minister from Martin's Ferry, Ohio with the Let the Truth Be Told campaign. This is a video response to all the people, the so-called Christians who call, commented on the videos about me calling out the Ohio Valley pastors to give me an answer for the reasons of what they believe and the practices they had. What a lot of people don't know is those who uh, comment, you did not know why I did it. So I would like to uh, put this out there right now. The reason why I'm doing these videos is because the shallow uh, Temple Church, Apostolic Church of Martin's Ferry, there was a revival with a woman preacher who came in telling everybody that they're not saved, that they don't speak in tongues in front of everybody. When she lays her hands on them, they had to speak in tongues. She told many members of the church who've been at the church for five, ten years that they're not saved. Many other people was offended by it and left the church and still has not come back. Have you people heard this? So all you people who say that I'm wrong for doing these videos, I'm doing this for those people who left the church who recognize false teachings and recognize false practices. When people are walking around the church, flipping, flopping, speaking in tongues, and they're told just because they didn't speak in tongues in front of that lady that they're not saved, that is, that is false. And when my church didn't stand up for it at first, when they didn't stand up for it, I had to say something. The lady also once said, uh, told me, she prophesied before her preaching in front of the whole church that me and my friend, uh, God has told her to tell us out loud in front of everybody that we will bring a lot of people to the church and that God has a mission for us. Later on at the end of her sermon, she called us up, tried to lay hands on us, tried to push us down and make us speak in tongues. We didn't speak in tongues, so she therefore said we're not saved, not knowing that I was an elder at that church. So this is why I'm doing these videos. So everyone who's commenting on that I'm wrong for doing this and that I won't uh, stand and ask for an answer. I'm asking Shallow Temple Church right now. I'm asking Minister Spencer to be the one since he says he's stepping up since Pastor Sick to answer the reasons why we let it go on. He did say that the woman was out of order, even though he wasn't at the thing, but he said she was out of order. It will never happen again. She'll never be back. I found out um, from the last video and from the comments, I said if I found the lady's name out that I would let everybody know. Marette Simpson, uh, she calls herself Evans Marette Simpson, and I guess she's of the Church of Zion Apostolic Church, who the pastor there is Karen Garland, who did speak at the revival too. Uh, uh, and I actually respect that lady, and at least she was on point with some of the stuff that she did preach, even though I know that she's out of order according to scripture. So everyone who's responded to these videos, I just want you to understand why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because there's at least 10 to 15 people who has left the church because of this lady. If you come down to Shallow Temple Church at this day, you will see that the congregation and the members have left the church. We're down. So why wouldn't I stand for them, for those that are hurt? Because they know that after one lady comes in and tells them they're not saved and they're not this and they're not that and preaching things that are false, when our church did not stand up for it, yeah, they have promised that that lady will never come back and preach again, but the damage is already done. So I realized I must stand up. Another thing that you people who are writing ignorant personal attacks on my wife and everyone else, what you guys need to understand is I prophesied about two to three weeks before this that if we allow women pastors in the church, we would be cursed. And we had a choice to choose blessing or cursing. Now, who is the, who is the one that's telling the truth? Look what has happened ever since that I've said that. And two, three weeks later, this lady comes in and now the church is down. So all you people understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'll give you biblical scriptures of why. I do what I do so when you think that I am being ignorant mean or angry look at all the comments on the videos of people telling me how I'm a, I'm a Satan I'm this I'm that all these things they're so-called Christians but I'm gonna read to you the Word of God on what we should be doing Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6 says but if the watchman sees the sword come and blows not the trumpet and the people be not warned if the people be not warned if the sword comes and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but the blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Just like I said, I gave a warning to Shiloh Temple Church, and I warned them. If I didn't continuously warn them and do what I did, when they get taken away, the blood will come on my hand. A true minister, a true prophet, a true preacher of God will teach what God has told them in their ear to speak out loud. Now, as in Isaiah, he says, cry out loud. So why are you people mad at me for sitting here trying to cry out loud and give warnings of what's going on in in the church, the universal church, not just Shiloh Temple. So I want to go there. Let's jump to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. And we will see what's going on and why I'm making these videos. I'm doing exactly what the Bible tells me to do. So anyone who goes up against what I'm doing, you'd realize you don't realize that you're going against what God has instructed me to do and other ministers to do if they'll stick with the word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2 says, preach the word, be instant. In season and out of season. Well, look what it says. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Reprove means to express your disapproval of something. Let's read the Amplified Bible in this on this situation so we can see what it really says. 
Herald and preach the word. Keep your sense of urgency. Stand by, be at hand, and be ready. Whether the opportunity seems to be favorable or unfavorable, whether it is convenient or inconvenient, whether it is welcome or unwelcome, you as a preacher of the word are to show the people in what way their lives are wrong and convince them, rebuking and correcting, warning and urging, and encouraging them being unflagging and inexhaustible with patience and teaching. That's the word of God, people. This video is for that. So why comment about how I'm out of order, why I'm wrong, I should never call names out. I'm going to give you more biblical scripture. So everyone who's common, especially the guy um, whose name is uh, Far Side 7, you say you're a dean of Bible college, PhD theology, you're a pastor, you're a national evangelist, and here you're trying to rebuke me for what I am doing? All, if you look at the videos, all I asked was these Ohio Valley pastors, but anyone else can jump in since I do bring up the PAW, about false teachings and mispractices that are not biblical. So, so what I'm doing is trying to call people out So, because when other people finally get taught and trained to read their Bibles and they catch the errors that is being taught and the practices that are going on, then they, become, they get confused and then they leave the church. Because you have no reason, you have no excuse with the scripture of why you teach what you teach or allow what goes on in your church. So everybody, can you see what I'm doing? I'm stepping up. I'm doing what 2 Timothy chapter 4 says. And in, in that same chapter, it says at the end time, people will not endure sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. I'm asking for doctrinal answers to be given. So when these pastors still have not yet called me back and, and even pulled me to a side to answer the questions. So, so all you Christians, I'm telling you to defend the faith as Jude chapter, I mean Jude verse 3 says. This is all biblical principles, people. So I don't understand why you people would be mad and you so-called Christians would be mad because I'm trying to stand for the truth. The Bible says when sh if 99 um, sheep are still there and one goes astray, we're supposed to go get them. So what about all the people that left our church? Shiloh Temple Church left our church. Are we supposed to sit there and not do nothing? It's admitted by Minister Spencer and everyone else. You can come and, you can come to our valley and see our church now and see the membership down. Ask why some of the people ain't there and it's because of what happened at the revival when Maret Simpson came down and did what she did. Now, I don't, I don't know if it's her daughter, but her name on, on um, YouTube is J-A-Y-E-Y-V-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. I think it's Jay Vaughnie. You've been uh, sending personal attacks at my wife. That's all you can say. You won't answer the questions. You won't answer what's on your videos about y'all doing miming. And that's worshiping the, the god uh, Dianus. Dianus is, uh, uh, that's false. That's unequally yoked. You're, you're mixing so-called Jesus with the p false worship. So that's unequally yoked. So I just want to say that to her, but I don't know if you're angry, lady. You could call me 740-310-2022. There's no reason for personal attacks. Every time you make a comment, I keep it up there so people can see it. This is what people are mad at when Christians argue against the truth. That's what makes it mad. When they see Christians that can't come to absolute truth, now people don't believe that Christianity is the real religion because there's so many different denominations. I preach against that too because we should be on oneness. The Bible tells us it's the inspired word of God. There is absolute truth. The problem of it is, is you people nowadays won't handle it like they did in Bible times. They would come together in group, open their Bibles, discuss it, look it, and come with a final decision based on scripture alone. So why can't we do that nowadays? Why is it that someone's out of order when they question these pastors and these leaders? But as you said, if the watchman does not sound an alarm, and when the sword comes, then the blood will come on my hands. So I'm doing what the Bible says for me to do this as a watchman of God. So as we see, you say a lot of you people have a problem with why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm standing for the truth so that the people who left the church or the people who want the truth and wants to ask questions to the pastors, that's what happened to Catholics. They, 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 they would not question their priests or not allowed to question their priests. That's why Martin Luther did what he did. He wanted a reformation because he finally went back. Acts chapter 17 uh, verse 11 says they went back and studied the word to see and search the scriptures to see what are being taught is true that's all I'm asking you to do I'll come back to you on the next segment but please listen to what I'm saying because this is compassion and love 